BBC Breakfast presenter Luxmi Gopal repeatedly apologised to a Paralympian after making a faux pas during their interview. BBC Breakfast welcomed a Paralympian, but a host couldn't stop saying sorry midway through their interview. GB racer Hannah Cockroft was live via video call on BBC Breakfast on BBC Two this morning to chat with presenters Luxmi Gopal and Ben Bulos about the upcoming Games which starts on Wednesday, August 28th. Kicking off the interview, Luxmi asked, Not long to go, how are you feeling? How are preparations going? Yeah you got my heart beating a little bit when you said that, Hannah replied. Preparations are going really well though, I've had a pretty good year, I became world champion again this year which is a great place to start. So I feel good, I think at the moment like you say, we're in Paris in preparation camp and the atmosphere feels really relaxed, it's nice to be around the team and we're just having a great time. I think when we move into the village, those nerves might start to kick in a bit more. Luxmi then continues to talk about the gravitas of what's to come, commenting, nerves and also the pressure, because you are unbeaten still at a Paralympic Games since first competing at London 2012. How do you cope with that level of pressure? Hannah answered, well I try not to think about it until you bring it up. The Paralympian started laughing as Luxmi couldn't help apologizing for the faux pas. Sorry, sorry, I haven't helped. Sorry Hannah. The 32-year-old said she was joking before talking about the pressure actually being a privilege. The seven-time Paralympic racer explained, It means that people believe in you, it means people know that you work hard and go out and do well and I think I can do that too. So I want to do myself proud, I want to do everyone who has supported me over the last three years, over my whole career, proud. It is getting harder every Paralympic Games, more girls are coming in. This is the first time I'll have heats at the 100 meters since London 2012 so it's incredible to see the numbers from my class creeping back up and see more girls getting the opportunity to try my sport. And hopefully some small part of that is down to me and the races that they can see on their screens. So it is pressure, but you've just got to get out there and do your job and hopefully I'm still alright at it.